Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about HCCI engines, which very well could be the future of internal combustion engines. Uh, everything will likely go electric at some point, uh, but in that interim, however short or long that may last, uh, Nissan has described these, I was looking at some information from them, as having the highest heat efficiency for any internal combustion engine. So you can see why there'd be a draw uh, to create something like this, a homogeneous charge compression ignition. So breaking down what this means, homogeneous charge means you have a good mixture of air and fuel rather than stratified like in a diesel engine where you compress that air and then you inject fuel into it and that fuel then ignites. Um, and then compression ignition, uh, using compression to ignite the air fuel mixture rather than a spark, spark ignition uh, like you have with traditional gasoline engines. So looking at the differences uh, between a diesel, a gas, and an HCCI engine, uh, very similar, you do have the same four strokes, uh, but with a diesel, you're gonna have that air pulled in and then you're gonna spray the fuel in uh, right before to start your ignition event. So injecting the fuel is what ignites that mixture um, and you're of course going to have that flame front uh, on the boundary between the fuel which has been injected in and the air uh, touching it. So you'll have that hot flame front there. In a gasoline engine, you'll have pulled in that air and fuel or with direct injection engines, you can spray in that fuel and regardless, you compress that air and fuel mixture and then a spark ignites it so you have that flame front that travels outward from the spark plug. Now in an HCCI engine, you're gonna pull in that air fuel mixture and then what you're going to do is compress it. And instead of having an ignition source like you do with diesel or gasoline, the idea is to have all of this mixture simultaneously combust as you're compressing it. So it's not gonna have this flame front traveling out. And the big advantage of not having that flame front is that you're not gonna create your nitrogen oxide. So it's gonna have much better emissions as a result of that because this boundary layer where you have that flame in both gasoline and diesel engines gets very hot. And that very hot area is what helps create, uh, gives the chemistry which allows for creating nitrogen oxides. And so this will run much cooler internally and as a result, you won't have these peak temperatures and so you won't have these uh, NOx emissions. So another thing uh, Nissan described to kind of show uh, a, a nice little chart that they had, cleaner emissions here on one side and fuel efficiency on the other side. And so diesel engines are very fuel efficient but they don't have that great of emissions. You've got soot um, and you've got uh, the nitrogen oxides of course. And then gasoline engines, you know, they are going to have cleaner emissions, uh, but they're not going to be as fuel efficient as diesels. And so HCCIs are kind of the best of both worlds and a little bit better. Um, so an improvement over both. So as I mentioned, the reason why they don't have those nitrogen oxide emissions is a result of the lower internal combustion temperatures, uh, but they're also gonna be more efficient than gasoline engines. They won't have the pumping losses. Uh, they'll be able to use higher compression ratios and they'll be using a slightly leaner air fuel ratios in order to kind of maximize fuel efficiency. Now the biggest challenge, you know, you're, you're asking, so why isn't this done? And that's a great question. The biggest challenge associated with this is the internal temperature because you wanna be able to time that simultaneous combustion event and that's the big challenge here. And so the way you do this is making sure that you have the exact right temperature that you want uh, when you compress that air fuel mixture. So if it's too cold, you're gonna mess up your ignition performance. If it's too hot, you're gonna, you could run into knock, uh, unpredictable um, you know, combustion events occurring within there. And so that's obviously not ideal. So there's this kind of small temperature range which you wanna keep it within in order to you know, have this predictable, maximizing efficiency uh, combustion cycle. And so the way that Nissan has kind of looked into changing this, um, there is some cool things that you can do, especially using variable valve timing. So you can change the amount of EGR, exhaust gas recirculation, so you can leave some inert gas in there to help change the temperature within, or you can you know, not use as much EGR to change that temperature within. And you can kind of do that in real time because it's each cycle. Uh, so that's one cool way that you're able to manage temperature. And you can also change the effective compression ratio. So if you leave that uh, intake valve open as you're compressing, you can reduce the effective compression ratio so you won't be getting temperatures quite as hot when you finish that stroke. You won't have as much efficiency, of course, but you can influence uh, the temperature within that engine. And so that's kind of the critical thing that you're trying to do there. So there's different ways of going about it. Uh, and it is kind of a cool concept to think about. And so perhaps we will see these sometime in the future. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.